So one really nice and elegant and convenient way to represent the Boolean operators we've been considering so far is with Venn diagrams, named after the 19th century English logician uh, John Venn. Let's do that now. Okay, so starting with A, we can see that A is just true inside the circle and false outside of it. And we can designate all that area outside of where A is true as not A. A could be any sentence here, say, Don Quixote is famous. Moving on to disjunction, we combine A with B. A could be Don Quixote is a knight, and B could be Don Quixote is famous. So this whole sentence would say Don Quixote is a knight or Don Quixote is famous. And notice that because this is inclusive disjunction, it includes the A circle, the B circle, and the overlap between them. The overlap is now what we're going to zero in on for conjunction. A and B. Don Quixote is a knight and Don Quixote is famous. And here we see that uh, the area that's true is just the area that's shared between A and B, the overlap. Now in an earlier video we talked about exclusive disjunction, which is A or B, but not both. And we can represent this, say Don Quixote is a knight or Don Quixote is famous, but not both, by subtracting the overlap between the A and B circles so that we're only talking about where one is true or the other is true, but not where both of them are true. And that's how we can use Venn diagrams to represent the Boolean operators we've been talking about.